So we've seen that there's a couple of content packs available for free from Microsoft for CRM for us to work with. Um, one was customer service, what was the other one? So the next one is sales analytics. So this is to do with your leads, your opportunities, quotes if you're using the quotes functionality as well. Okay, and does that work the same way? One click install? Yep, one click, um, loads and loads of really cool reports um, once you've actually got it installed. Excellent, how do we do that? Okay. So we're here on um, the workspace at the moment and you'll see there's get data option here. So again, this brings me back to the page we were on before. I've got the content packs option here, so I will click on get. And again, we're just gonna filter the results slightly because there's a lot to choose from on AppSource. I mean, there are other packs in here that are worth exploring for beyond CRM, such as Google Analytics, if they want yep. to look at their, their web data. That's a useful one, and there's quite a few web services that if you've got subscriptions for them, you can pull in those packs. And it is worth taking some time just to have a scroll through AppSource to understand what is available because they're bringing on new content packs all the time. Yeah, pace of change is very impressive. <laughs> okay, so we scroll down here and we've got sales analytics. So if we just click in here, so again, that's just giving you a bit of information about what this pack um, contains, and you've got a little bit of a preview there as well. So we'll click on get it now. And again, what it's going to ask me to do is just pop in the URL for my CRM organization. So pop that in there. And this time it's just asking me about the fiscal year end as well. So I'm just going to make it nice and easy and we'll say 12. Now, because we've already done the authentication when we installed the custom service analytics um, app, we should be able to skip authentication this time and it should just import the pack for us. If I was doing it fresh though, it would ask me for my credentials and I would need to choose OAuth. OAuth, yeah, which is uses your Office 365 subscription. And just tell it, uh, it tell it who I am and it will, should then from the background pull through because I'm logged in already. Yeah, it BI. should pull through your okay. Office 365 um, details. So you can see here now it's just importing the information. There you go, I can see we've got an extra data set and report and dashboard. So if I click on the dashboard. It's worth just mentioning here that depending on the, the type of Power BI account you have, i.e. the free account or the pro account, this may limit whether you can share dashboards or not. And they have changed the licensing in terms of what you can do with free accounts in the last couple of months. So you might need to share this. You, you can set this up, but to share it and to have it refresh automatically, you're probably going to need the pro account. But that seems to have done a good job of pulling through our data. Okay, so I'll yeah, we'll just minimize that. So again, presented with a dashboard here with loads of cool information. Uh, so again, if you're a sales manager, a sales director, these are the kinds of things that you want to be able to see at a glance. Um, so you can look at things like one, one revenue, so whether that's split by quarter or by the year. Um, you can look at that in terms of what's the number of opportunities that actually make up that one revenue. It will calculate things like the average deal size um, that you're making how long it's taking you to actually close those deals, um, which is also a really good metric for if you're trying to work it back to how many leads do I need to get to fill my pipeline to meet my targets. Um, you've got one revenue versus, versus estimated revenue. Uh, what else have we got? We've got things like the conversion rate, always a really important one that people want to be able to measure and to know. I can also see this picture here of my pipeline, and this might be a good one just to pop out into a bigger view. So again, what I can see here is the amount of revenue at each stage of the pipeline. So I can see here we've got 117K. Um, it's in the closed stage. What's happening with that? We should be you know, on top of that, actually on the verge of winning it. So I might want to follow up with the individual salespeople to find out what's going on with that. Okay. And if you click any of these visuals that are in our dashboard, will it take us through to report like a, a normal dashboard will? Well, indeed. And now we see all the pages of our yep. report. That's a, a very detailed report. Again, yeah, there's lots to cover um, from this. So here you can see again, so we're look, just looking at the pipeline information here, and you can see whether you're doing it by the rating and how you've rated it, again, by the stage that it's at within your sales process. Um, if you categorize your opportunities by the industry, because you want to look at who you've been targeting and where you're getting you know, the majority of your leads and opportunities from, um, you can sort of have charts displaying there. 
if you are kind of operating globally or even just in your own country, you might want to see the different regions. Um, are there hotspots? Are there kind of areas that you need to kind of increase penetration, that kind of thing? Um, so some of the other reports that you get out of the box here. So you have sales performance dashboard. So I, I can interact with this yes. map, for example. Okay, so you've got sales performance really, and this is really um, looking at all of the opportunities that you've won. Um, so again, we haven't got that many one opportunities in our demo CRM environment, but as we kind of build on that, this would automatically refresh um, and update. If you want to encourage a bit of healthy competition um, in your sales team, then you do have a sales leaderboard. Um, and again, you can look at- You're doing really well. Yes. <laughs> I appear to be the only person selling in our organisation. Um, so again, you can start to sort of encourage um, some healthy competition amongst the sales team. We've also got win-loss analysis as well. So you can look at what's the amount of won versus the amount lost. Sometimes that's really good to, to just have a look at and say, OK, actually, we are winning more than we're losing. Or if we're losing more than we're winning, then we need to know why. Um, and you can look at that based on uh, dates as well in terms of when you're winning and losing. Power BI will also analyse it and tell you who the top accounts are, so you can keep an eye on them, um, which also drills through to the top opportunities as well. So they're kind of just two different takes of the same data. Um, but again, that's really helpful from a management point of view to understand who your kind of top five are, maybe top 10, um, just so that you can support the sales team in driving those opportunities through and keep an eye on the customers you know, beyond them actually sort of becoming a, a fully fledged customer. So again, pipeline we've just had a look at. You can look at the pipeline leaderboard as well. Um, so again, you've got a nice kind of table view there of the different um, opportunities that you've got available. Activities, um, so again, how active are your sales team? A lot of people that we go out and talk to, they want to know how many phone calls are being made, they want to know how many visits you know the team are going out and doing. This is a great, um, great dashboard in terms of just presenting you with the information as to who's been doing what really. Open activities is also a really nice feature um, because it's great to show that there are kind of activities being carried out but there might be follow-up calls, there might be follow-up tasks to do, there might be appointments in the future. So again, people want to see, you know, not just what's happened this week but what's happening over the next month. You know, what have people actually got scheduled in? So that's another really nice um, visual for a manager. So you've got not the analysis of what happened and um, yes, yes. and overview of what's coming. Yeah. Um, and then we've got a bit on lead analysis as well. So looking at again things like what's your conversion rate, what's your qualification rate, um, how are you actually rating them, where are your leads coming from? Really, really important one for marketing to understand really so that they can go and target those channels if they're particularly successful in one area. Do more of what you're doing well. Uh, and then we've got a final one on accounts. And this again just comes back to who are your top ten by revenue, really. So who are your biggest sort of opportunities that are out there, how are we going to look after them, keep an eye on them. Okay. So, so then once we're happy with the, the look of the data, we've explored it, we could go to the dashboard and just share that with other people yep. within our organisation. Yes, and that's just via the share option there. Excellent. Pretty good for free. I know. Thank you. No problem. <laughs>